contests last weekend here in Fargo. Third game in seven nights. These two teams will wrap up their four game set tomorrow night at the Tyson Event Center in Sioux City. And we are underway as the force have it in the offensive zone. It's chipped back out to center by the Musketeers and John Schultz will fire it right back in. Caroms around to the near side. It got by Mark Senden. Back out to center, Ty Farmer plays it to his D partner, Schultz, who sends it right back in. AJ Drobot to take the draw. Controlled by the Musketeers, rings around and out of the zone. And Ernberg will come out of the penalty box and the Forcer 0 for 1 on the man advantage. They'll bring it out of their own zone, out to center. Pass too far for Johannes and sent right back in by the Musketeers. From behind his own net, Kessel up and over, looking to find some comfort on home ice here this evening. They attempt to break it out on the left wing side. Hunter Johannes, a new add to the roster just over a week ago. As he's pinned up along the boards in the far corner. Sioux City able to get it up the wall, but not out of the zone. Micah Miller couldn't clear. Miller again with a chance, and he does get it out to center ice. His intended receiver, Sampo Ranta, was tripped up on the play. And the force able to dump it into the offensive zone. Forwards are changing. Garrett Van Wy in the zone all by his lonesome. Just eats the puck in time for his line mates to get on the ice. A dump in attempt is broken up. And the Musketeers back the other way. Ranta, top of the circle, shoots. Shoulder saved by the goaltender, Ryan Bischel. And the force quickly back his man. And the force transition from inside their zone. Farmer. Cross ice for Schultz, who dumps it in. He'll go off on a line change. Sioux City chips it back out to center. Farmer retreats. Up ahead for Nodler. A new, uh, a new name and number on the roster tonight. Josh Nodler, one of the affiliates. First period. Drobot in the center circle, but it's controlled by the Musketeers. Ranta. Backhands a pass all the way across the ice. Two games against Chicago three weeks ago. And he is not in the lineup for at least a couple, three more weeks while he heals that. Here's a giveaway in the zone. Miller walks in, shoots wide. Turnaround shot by Ranta, saved by Bischel and steered to the corner. Sioux City with a little bit of a jump here in the offensive zone. Ranta feeling some pressure from Van Wy, unable to throw it out in front. And now it's picked up on the near wall by Meyer. Meyer out to center into the skate of Picorni and he'll dump it into the offensive zone. Also recently added via trade or via an ad, uh, former Madison defenseman Connor Mayer is dressed tonight for Fargo as well. Shot on, Bischel makes the save. Fargo's penalty kill is about middle of the road, ninth in the league, killing off just shy of 83% of their shorthanded situations. The Force do have four shorthanded goals on the season. Sioux City sets up from behind their own net. Brady Ferner starts it up ice. Right wing side now circling through center ice is Dylan Mills. Puck goes to the far corner. Rings around to the near side, left point Ranta. Now played down below on the far side for Martin Pospisil. Out to the top, shot, score! Start doing here over the course of the last eight, seven or eight days. Musketeers control the draw, Ranta through center ice, a little bit too far for Parker Ford, but he'll chase it down and take it to the corner. Ford leaves it for Ranta. Ranta circles around, fighting off the check by Meyer, and then loses the puck as Meyer pushes him away. Meyer will start the breakout through the center of the ice. Out to neutral, crosses the checkered stripe, brings it into the offensive zone. Takes it to the corner, looking. Still holds the puck along the end wall. And now Senden in to offer support. He tried to ring it around. It got to the line. Schultz was able to leave his skates and dump it back in. But the delayed offside is going to let Sioux City get it out to center ice. Mills lost control and it's swatted back into the offensive end for this opening period. Now controlled by Fargo. Farmer brings it through center ice. Penalty coming up behind the play into the zone two on two. Shot taken from the side of the cage off the shoulder of the goal. It poked off his stick. Off the glass, ahead for Savage. He could connect. Teams trading possession here at center ice. Meyer for Fallstrom. 
Retreats in his own zone to avoid some pressure. Circling through once again. Four seconds to go in the period. That's pretty much going to do it for this opening session. He's taken the first two games of this four game set. Fargo trying to get back at them tonight and retake first place in the Western Conference as they trail Tri-City by one point. Here's Mark Sandin bringing it into the offensive zone. Pushes it down low. Sioux City able to play it from along the wall. Clearing attempt broken up as the puck ends up rolling behind the cage. Off the glass at the line. Got by John Schultz, but he took his man out of the play at the same time and the force able to dump it right back into the offensive zone. Send in four checking. Sioux City able to get it out to center. Evan Bell plays it back to his defensive partner, Spencer Meyer. And through center, Bell once again to Bison. He shoots right on the Monday, covered for him nicely, and sends it back into the Fargo zone. Four and a half minutes into the second period. 1-1 the score. Both goals coming back in the first period. Once again to the right of Matt Jerusik in the Sioux City net. Controlled by the Musketeers and sent to center. Ranta rubbed off the play, but Sioux City eventually able to dump it into the offensive zone. Schultz, left wing Bison. Schultz pass to Bison was off the mark partially maybe because bison took a heavy hit and he's going to go slowly get off the ice and head to the fargo bench fargo doesn't need any more injuries to deal with sending with shot attempt that he partially fanned on Sioux city back the other way force without three injured players tonight jacob schmidt Svestrup, who's third in the league in goals and he is tipped high and out of the zone, and Farmer has to retreat deep in his own zone to play it now from behind his own bench. Up on the wing for Nodler. Ahead to send it into the zone. Tries to break three free from the two defenders. Takes a hit against the wall. And then levels one himself on Ranta in the corner. Sioux City with possession. Right wing side, Hernandez through center. Into the offensive zone, Ranta four checking. Bell holds him off. Comes free out front. Shot taken by Konepke was blocked. Hernandez, now Ranta. Ranta circling through. Ranta the Finnish native. Spins it back to the left point. Now down low. Spinning shot. Redirected off the stick of Cole Kepke. Konepke at the left point. Shoots. Kawhi in the center faceoff circle. Controlled by the Musketeers. Left point. Konepke shoots. Bischel, I don't think, saw it, but it hit him in the right arm. And Sioux City holds the zone. Spencer Meyer spins away from a check. Bell can't slide it up the wall. And now it's gloved down and brought out of the zone by Van Wy. Three on two through center. To his left to send it. Back to Van Wy, and the pass was in his skates, and then he goes hard into the wall. Zone. And we'll open things up here with the four on four plays. John Schultz plays from behind his own net. Cross ice, moving up ice, Bell. Bell gains the line and takes it deep. Carries it around behind the net. Has it poked off his stick, but he's able to maintain, maintain control. Bell at the wall. Down into the corner for Hebert. Hebert to the near side. Off the wall looking for Bell. His stick was tapped, and Micah Miller starts it the other way for Sioux City. Miller around behind the Fargo net. Waiting for some help as Sioux City was in the midst of a line change. Ehrenberg throws it to the corner. Schultz there to play it for Fargo. His pass was intercepted. Ranton nearly set up in the slot. At the line, Ehrenberg holds. Shot taken from the left point. That hit John Schultz out front, and he'll start a breakout as the force get it to center. Aber gets around his man into the zone, cutting to the slot, coming in behind the play, sending with a shot that was tipped wide. Mayer at the line, one-time shot, tipped out front. Jerusik got a piece of it, and the rebound controlled by the Musketeers. Ranta circles at center, back to Ehrenberg as he returns behind his own net farmer. Right wing out at center for Picorni to send in. It rolled over. We got a new biscuit from the penalty box. Into the zone comes Sioux City. Ranta, backhand pass, tipped over the net to the far boards. A.J. Drobot plays it ahead. Force potentially four on two coming into the zone, but Johannes couldn't catch up with it. Drobot to the corner. He'll chase it down himself. Now Sioux City gets it, and Micah Miller on the 
outlet, carries it up ice. His shot attempt blocked by Evan Bell. Puck in the corner, pinned up along the boards. 90 seconds to go in the period. Robot tried to move it up the wall to Johannes. That was broken up by Parker Ford. Official telling the players to move the puck and it squirts free. Drobot, two on two through center. In the three games that these two teams have played, he's been the guy that's kept these games close and gotten the two wins against Fargo in the first two games of this four game session between these two teams. So we're back to the action here in the third period of the 1-1 game. My name is Pat Blondin. Glad you're joining us tonight on Hockey TV and HockeyTV.com. As we see if the force can pull one out here on home ice, a place that hasn't been that friendly so far this year. A wraparound attempt by Van Wy is stuffed at the side of the net. Sioux City's able to get it out to center. Into the offensive zone, Micah Miller, the Grand Rapids, Minnesota native, who passed up his senior season at Grand Rapids this year to play in the USHL, and he's had a face off deep in the Fargo zone. Held at the line. Ranta walking in, cross ice pass in the dot. Back to Ferner at the point, his one-timer gloved and hung on to by Bischel. Bell off the glass, can't get it out of the zone. Ferner holds. Ranta at the left point. Now Ferner, Ranta has a lane, walks in, shoots through traffic. It got to Bischel. Now Ferner again, high slot shot. That was tipped out in front by the defense. A.J. Drobot steered it to the wall and then got some help from Falstrom to clear it all the way down. 119 to go in the Sioux City power play. They're inching back closer in shots on goal. 27-20 now the advantage for Fargo. Sioux City had a 10-8 advantage in the second period. Musketeers on top, 2-1. Force trying to make a comeback. Steele rubbed off the play at the near side wall and then dumped in. Force changing all five skaters on the ice. Quickly through center. Micah Miller into the offensive zone. Mayer back to play, rings it around behind to the far side. Drop pass to the point, nobody home, and the Musketeers must retreat. At the line, Myers. Lost it, back to center ice. Mayer, who's seen more and more ice time as this game has progressed in his first game since being picked up by the force. And there's a clean drop. Van Wy along the wall, lost control. Ranta left point. Walking in, drops it back for Ferner. Ranta, top of the circle. Ferner, feeling some pressure from Sendin. Shot in, Beschel never saw it, but it hit him in the left leg. Ferner, now Ranta, top of the left circle. Pospisil in the corner, centers. Mills shoots, he fired wide. Ranta holds the line on the left point. Walks in. Drops it back for Ferner. He's got to chase it down. Gets some help from Pospisil, who circles in the zone. Drops it for Ranta. He shoots. He scores. The power play goal by Ranta has given Sioux City a two-goal edge. Pospisil dropped it back, and Bischel never saw it. It's a Parker Ford. Force get it back to the Sioux City line. Bodies flying on that far side as the puck comes to the near side benches. Ranta off the wall for Micah Miller. Backhands ahead onto the stick of Nodler, then he gives it up. Micah Miller gets it behind Nodler, takes it to the corner. Now has it for Leibold. He's pinched off the play. Micah Miller once again. Now Hurley for Fargo. Out of the zone, cross ice, blind backhand pass. Bit too far for Nodler. Sioux City back the other way. Ranta, he's dangerous. Rising shot. Bischel caught it with the shoulder. Force clear and it rolls down. No icing on the play. Steele chases, cleared out of the zone. Into the zone, Steele. Aber with a shot. That hit traffic out front. 
And from the line, Sioux City's able to bring it to center. Ranta has a man streaking down the slot, couldn't connect with Micah Miller. So now we're seeing a little more up, upbeat pace, some end-to-end -end action. Force gets some momentum with A.J. Drobot's seventh goal of the season. Wraparound attempt, hits the side of the net. Puck ends up in the corner. Back to the point now. Ranta couldn't control. Played by Bartik Bison through center. Crosses the checkered stripe and dumps it in. At center, Force in the middle of Alfreds. Force control the draw. Meyer tried to play it off the glass. That was knocked down. Ranta holds at the left point. He goes cross ice looking for Pospisil. Senden got a stick on it. Pospisil chases it down. Centers, Mills fired wide. Good scoring opportunity there for Dillon, but he just missed the mark. Ringers around behind the net, back out to center. Brady Ferner, who has a goal in this contest, will set up the breakout from behind his own net. He brings it up the middle of the ice. Left side, Kepke. Cross ice, far side, into the zone, Mills. Mills knocked off to play nicely by Evan Bell. And the puck is somewhere on that end wall, which the force are okay with because it'll knock some time off this power play. The puck rolls along the dasher, gets by Ferner at the line. And with Steel four checking, Fargo's able to change three of the four on the ice before Steel is able to peel away and get a change of his own. Senden steals the puck at the line and sends it all the way down. 50 seconds to go in the changing four of the five on the ice. Spencer Meyer spins away from a check and flips it out to center. Under a minute to play here in the third period of a 3-3 contest. Fargo trying to snap a two-game losing streak to these Musketeers. Here's Picorni, a potential two-on-one in the zone. Centered looking for Myers, and Ferner got a stick on it. Myers steals at the line. Can't get it deep. It's played off the linesman, and now Van Wy at the line. Has a step on Ferner, goes to the net, saved. Puck still loose out in front of Jerusik, and it's cleared out now by Sioux City to the line. Held there by Senden as he pushes it to the corner. Van Wy, he got a late third period goal last Friday. Farmer with a shot that was tipped just over the crossbar. Van Wy behind the cage. One of the force players, Drobot, laying in the crease as he was knocked down. Sends a pass off the goaltender, comes free in the slot. Micah Miller will skate it up ice. Two seconds, one second as he takes a long range shot. Under Ryan Bischel. So five minutes are on the clock. 32-29, shots on goal, advantage for Fargo, and they control the faceoff in the overtime. Bear gains the line. Possession is key in three-on-three -three hockey, and the force have it for the time being. Bell circles away from a check. Goes to the dot, walks in, shoots. Save made by Jerusik as Bell was trying to go upstairs on the short side. Bear couldn't control at the line. Has to retreat now Calvin Picorni. On the ice with Ty Farmer and Garrett Van Wy. In his own zone, Picorni. Ahead to Farmer, now Van Wy at the line. He chips it to himself off the boards. Ferner pushes it to the corner, but Van Wy gets to it first. Now Picorni tried to wrap around. The puck rolled off the toe of his stick. Picorni retreats to center, drops it back for Farmer. Farmer quickly ahead in the play. Potential two on one with Van Wy. Van Wy shoots! It may have hit Jerusik in the face mask. The puck goes to the far wall, and now Martin Pospisil has it. The force had possession for over a minute to start the overtime. Now Pospisil, who had a Bischel. Controlled by Fargo once again. Nearly given away in the high slot to Ranta. But Senden fights off a check, brings it up the ice. Had it roll off his stick, but still maintains control in the offensive zone. He'll circle back now. Being watched very closely by Ranta, he escapes, drops it off for Brian Hurley. Hurley gains the line, pushes it deep to himself. Takes a low angle shot, that was handled wildly by Jerusik, but kept it out of the net. Drobot in the corner, he's got a goal in this game. He got the comeback started. Hurley with a shot through traffic. Gloved by Jerusalem, comes out of his net, plays it out to center ice. Bit on breakaways, has the puck in his own zone now for Sioux City. 
67 seconds to go in the overtime session. If nobody scores, we'll go to the shootout. Kepke through center. Drops it off, it's intercepted. Now the force two on one in overtime. Picorni into the zone, has Falstrom with him. He shoots over the top of the net. Sioux City gets it out of their own zone. Ranta, maybe a two on one with Kepke in the zone with him. Ranta shoots, Bischel the save. Rebound controlled by Bell with 40 seconds to go in overtime. Has a goal tonight and 11 on the season. The finished player comes in on the backhand side. The left hand shot, too tight and wide. No 